Hi, Psych Doers. Do you get anxious a lot? While anxiety is a normal response to stress, as it's your body's way to tell you that there is danger ahead, there is a difference between feeling a little jittery and nervous and experiencing overwhelming panic. When your symptoms start to be excessive, lasting for six months or more, and you feel like it's consumed your life, then your anxiety may be becoming more serious and you may have an anxiety disorder. But whether you experience subtle signs of anxiety or are struggling with an anxiety disorder, you can reap some benefits when you fuel your body with the right kinds of food. So here are seven foods to reduce anxiety. Number one, Brazil nuts. Do you snack a lot? In places where there is adequate selenium content in the soil, Brazil nuts become wonderful organic sources of selenium. A study done by Benton and Cook showed that there is a correlation between a person's change in mood and the level of selenium in their diet. In the study, a sample of 50 subjects were supplied with a selenium supplement for five weeks. They were divided into two groups, in which they either received a placebo or 100 micrograms of selenium every day and were required to fill in the food frequency questionnaire to approximate the dietary intake of selenium. During this five-week span of selenium therapy, when the level of dietary selenium decreased, there would be more reports of anxiety, depression, and tiredness. It is crucial to note that consuming selenium in excess can lead to side effects. An adult is recommended to take up to 400 micrograms per day. Therefore, you need to be vigilant not to take high doses of selenium supplements or consume more than three to four Brazil nuts a day. Number two, fatty fish. Do you know that fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, trout, and herring are rich sources of omega-3? The omega-3 rich foods contain alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, which provides two essential fatty acids, eicosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid, DHA. These enable neurotransmitter regulation, reduce inflammation, and encourage healthy brain function, which have potential preventative and therapeutic effects on psychiatry disorders such as anxiety and depression. According to a systematic review and meta-analysis study published in JAMA, there was an association between the intake of omega-3, PUFAs, and a significant reduction in anxiety symptoms compared with controls. Apart from that, there was a significantly higher association of treatment with reduced anxiety symptoms of omega-3 PUFA in subgroups with specific clinical conditions than in subgroups without clinical diagnosis. Number three, dark chocolate. Does it feel instantly better when you munch on some dark chocolate when you're feeling down? In a study published in the International Journal of Health Sciences, the daily consumption of 40 grams of dark and milk chocolate by female students during a period of two weeks was effective in decreasing their level of perceived stress. It's actually unclear as to how the consumption of dark chocolate leads to stress reduction. However, it is important to note that dark chocolate is a rich source of polyphenols, especially flavonoids. And according to a 2016 study done by Shun Xiao, flavonoids might reduce neuroinflammation, cell death in the brain, and improve blood flow. Number four. Turmeric. Have you ever tried Indian turmeric rice? Turmeric is a common spice used in Indian and Southeast Asian cooking. It has a warm, bitter taste and is usually used to flavor or color curry powders, mustards, butters, and cheese. This spice contains a chemical called curcumin, which may reduce inflammation and oxidative stress and help lower anxiety. Number five, chamomile. Do you often make yourself a cup of hot chamomile tea when you're feeling a little stressed? Chamomile tea can sometimes be a herbal remedy due to its anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antioxidant, and relaxant properties. According to a randomized clinical trial done by Mao, there was a significant reduction of moderate to severe generalized anxiety disorder symptoms for those long-term chamomile consumers. However, it did not significantly reduce their rate of relapse or psychiatry disorders. Number six. Yogurt. Did you know healthful bacteria such as lactobacillus and bifidobacteria can be found in yogurt? It's reported that these bacteria and fermented foods such as ghee's, sauerkraut, kimchi, and fermented soy products can amplify the specific nutrient and phytochemical content of foods and affect the brain health via direct and indirect pathways. According to a study done by Hillmeyer, DeWilder, and Forstel, 
There was a correlation between higher frequency and fermented food consumption and fewer symptoms of social anxiety. It's also stated that for those at a higher genetic risk, as indexed by trait neuroticism, fermented foods that contain probiotics may have a protective effect against social anxiety symptoms. And number seven, green tea. Is it relaxing for you to drink a cup of tea? Green tea contains an amino acid called theanine, which has a potential effect on mood disorders. When drinking green tea, the production of serotonin and dopamine may increase, which may help reduce your anxiety. A review by Dietz and Decker reported that L-theanine alone improved self-reported relaxation, tension, and calmness, starting at 200 milligrams. The combination of L-theanine and caffeine were found to exceptionally improve performance in attention switching tasks and alertness, but to a lesser extent than caffeine alone. Have you tried these foods? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. As always, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.